like the swings and offenses. Oh, yeah. I like them, man. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's go over the target option. And if anybody has any other questions, let me know. What what scared you about taking this? I'm here with Eric today. Eric, because of the rally? Because of the rally yeah, it, went it went up, what, to 58 something. Yeah, and so. I, I don't know. I just didn't. I was like, no. Oh. Well, that's not that far away from 57s. I mm. called the 57s. I forget what day I called it. Did I call it this day or this day? Was the, what was it, like a Tuesday? Was it Tuesday? Or oh, then I, I don't remember. I either called it here or here. I don't remember. Yeah. Anyways, the bottom line is, usually I'm calling them away from the strike to drop into the strike or rally into the strike. So okay, the fact yeah. it's only a dollar away, that shouldn't scare you out of doing it if the yeah. chart looks okay in the gap. Yeah. Now, are you looking at the charts before you take the trades and the no, option no. trades? Not all the time. So then how do you decide if you want to do it? You just say, I'm just, I mean, because you're not doing everyone. No, well, I, mm, well, that one was a put, so. Yeah? Did that make you nervous? Yeah. No, no, I didn't know how to, I never did a put before. Okay. Well, I did, but I lost money on it. I don't know what I Okay. Did, so, so, that's all right, that's yeah. all right. I've been calling those yeah. longs. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just used to the call, so I was nervous that's about okay. it. That's okay. Yeah, so I didn't do So it. if I had called a call, would you have done it? Or I probably would have. Okay. Yeah. Because that was easier for Without me to understand. Without looking at the chart. Yeah. I probably would have did it blind. Just Okay. Yeah. Well, going forward, I think you should look at the chart for everything that I, every trade that I call anyways. Unless you're going to just blanket do every single solitary one with the same risk. Okay. I would look at the charts from now on to see what ones you have more conviction in or not. You would be seeing what they're seeing in money. Would that work? You were saying the, the bar charts. At Can the end? you? I, I don't know how how okay. real time pricing is that. Okay. Is there? We'll look. We'll pull it up today okay. and we'll look at it and I'm see gonna, if it's real time. You just gotta keep it in a uh, refresh. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably right. A gal had saying that Eric would have been out of a thousand dollars. What's wrong with that? There's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Yeah. There's. I mean, what's wrong with that? Nothing. So, you know, the reality is that when you're up in this and you know that you're up, you know that you're up and that's all that you know. And if you wait and it goes to the first target and you don't get out, you don't know what can happen tomorrow. That's, your, that's where the chance lies. So the probability exists, and this is important for you to understand because we just, we just rated that one gap that's all we had time this morning. We'll yeah. go through them. But the probability exists in mm. the fact that you're doing a system yeah. that has a high probability of working. It doesn't mean that they're all going to work. Okay. Now, high probability means that most do in the trades, whether it's the options or the day trades. Like today, that one worked for a move, mm -hmm. but it didn't get the rating over the 20, but it did work. Yeah. So you'll have things that don't rate well that sometimes work, just like you'll have things that rate well that sometimes work. Oh, okay. You have the high probability, which is a system. Mm -hmm. But the money management has to be on you. If you know that you're up and you don't get out of anything, and you're up for a few days, which actually he was up in this for three days. You get up in the morning, you're up. You get up the next morning, you're up. You get up the next morning, you're up, and it hits the target. You gotta get out, or you gotta get out of half, okay? Because it's chance then, when you're in something, and it's working, if you don't get out, because you don't know where the next number is gonna go. Because you have time value in the option, and even in the day trades, you have time against you. You must get out of this trade here today, if you did this one, before four o'clock, if you shorted Tyson today, if you had done it, you've got to get out when you're up. This could push all the way back up to the entry price. You've only got before four o'clock to get out as a day trade. You're in and you're out. And the same concept with the options because of the fact that. Um, Would they sell your position if you somehow forgot? No, it? no. Who's going to sell your position? A oh, little uh, elf <laughs> sitting in there, a little fairy? <laughs> Eric just asked the funniest questions. Oh my God, I'm going to have the guy here all week, starting tomorrow, after we get your platform up. You were saying the funniest things. Eric said, does someone take you out? Yes, it's a magical trading fairy that comes and takes you out when you're up and takes the trades for you, actually. It's called the Stock Switch Fairy. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry right now. What did you say? No, I know, but this is so cute. This is why you're here. No, no one takes you out. And if you would have taken this and you wouldn't have gotten out, then guess what? You would have been stuck in this sucker overnight. And what if it gapped up tomorrow? And it gapped up to 63. You could lose your whole account. No, you've got to be responsible and you've got to get out. And in fact, one girl that I had that was so new, she forgot in the afternoon and saw she wasn't out of something. She was still up money in it. Don't, 
make sure you look at that jiggy then and go mm. and check on your monitor that you mm. are actually out mm. closed. Mm. Even after you take it out, go check it. Mm. Check the profit, check the loss, like double check it. Because she thought she had gotten herself out and she mm. wasn't. Mm. And she caught it before the afternoon. She told me that you got to make sure that you were out yourself. This actually looks like it's still actually continuing here. Let me just look. I was waiting for the confirmation, Susanna, for this to go on a higher time frame. I did not want to be aggressive here in this at all. Yes, you could have shorted this up here, but I didn't want to do that on this because of the fact that it didn't rate good. So even though I called it, I was waiting for confirmation. Yes, this was the correct entry, but also you want something 20 points or more for that, which this wasn't. Okay, this still looks like it's going though. All right, let's get back to the target option. So this went to the first target today, which was, 50, actually went to the second target. It went to the first target was $57, which was a strike, and then $56.50, which was today, and the next target's $56. So he has 4,000 shares, and he could have, well, he sold it, but he could have made four grand if it went to 56. It will go to 56. Will it today? Will it tomorrow? Will it the next day? It expires on the 17th, and you're taking chances you don't know. So if you're up 1,000 bucks, you know you've got 1,000. If you're up 1,700, you know you've got 1,700. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So... You know, we'll see how you do this week, but you don't want to get out too soon, but you definitely don't want to get out too late. I think that's what the person was saying with the $1,000. Yeah, but that wouldn't be too soon to me. To be up okay. 1000 bucks is that's money. It's 1000 bucks. It's $1,000. You know what I mean? Hmm. I mean, that's what the whole move in this here today. Yeah, it's 30 cents. It's not amazing if you look at the stop at 50, but the gap rate like crap. You got, you got in right into the money. Boom. You know, what more do you want out of life? Again, we the system is you follow it, and I've been doing great with the picks. I can't force these things to work, though, when they don't. There was a couple last week that, that just didn't, didn't work right. But all in all, for the most part, you follow the system and just use better money management, which we're gonna I'm going to have to start teaching more about here, which is why this is a good lecture. Um, well, you could be in this already if you want to be in this for a longer term short if you want to, Sue. So, I mean, you could be in it already if you want to. But I thought the put was a good play because it was cheap. It was cheap. It was 60 some cents or whatever when oh, I called yeah. it. So you could have bought 10 contracts and spent 600 bucks. So actually, Galahad, what was your fill in this here then? What was your fill when you exited this today? Just so I can give Eric an example. Anyways, let's go over what you were saying here. This is okay. It's okay that this failed if the gap rate's good. What you want to see is that it doesn't fail overall in the chart, which target. it didn't. This is target. This is the option again. But see, then go ahead. It, it, well, that's another thing. Go ahead. When it goes against you, your your option will lose value. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's for a short period of time, but then it's sometimes. Oh, I don't know. Go ahead. What were you saying? It just see. It just. It's a little scary to look that you're down so much. With From the, your price. Yeah, in the option. Like, like, give me an example. Like, if it would, okay, it was worth 60 cents, now it's worth 20, or, you know, now you're like, oh, wow, then it has to go that much further. Yes, which will you will depend yeah. if the chart still looks okay and if you still have time in it or not. Okay. But as I was telling Galahad, you got to kill these when you're down half. So, okay. for example, oh, if you okay. would be at 60 <laughs> cents, mm -hmm. um, and if you were down under 30, I would kill it. I would just kill it. Okay. I would just get out. Okay. So that will help your money management better. Because okay. usually these ones I'm calling are going right into the money or they aren't working. Okay. And it's almost like a sign. Okay. okay. But if it pulls back a little bit, you could take more. Actually, I had him add more when this was starting to work. Oh, okay. I, and that was rare, but we had a slow week last week and I wanted him to do well. And I thought this could drop and break and go to this number here on Friday. And I wanted him to have a good day. He had a good day today. But don't, don't do that on your own. But anyways, going back to this here, I'd kill them if they're down half. And as far as the the rallying back, it's it, it might move against you a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with that. This okay. isn't very volatile. Google, Amazon, those go shoo, yeah. woo, uh, woo, 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 woo. You could be down in it, and then all of a sudden they could, you could be up three times in that in one day. So that is this is different, and this is why also I haven't been really calling hardly any puts because this this has not been as volatile as the other ones. So anyways, he made a dollar ten. So if your cost was sixty cents and you made a dollar ten, how much would your profit have been? Get your calculator, figure it out. Dollar ten minus sixty cents is what? Um, 
Oh my God, you're kidding. Okay, he has a Radio Shack calculator, which is as old as mine. Mine is a Texas Instrument from like 1985. Actually, mine might be older than yours, but it's not. It's pretty close. Okay. Radio Shack. They're not even in business anymore, but there used to be a Radio Shack near my house. I'm gonna take a picture of that calculator and put it in an email. Minus a dollar ten minus sixty cents. Oh, okay, fifty cents. It's fifty cents. Oh, so if you had contract. ten contracts so at fifty cents. How much would you have made? Well, 10, I'm sorry, yeah, 10 contracts. 500? No, wait a minute, 50, yeah. It has to 10 be. contracts is 1,000 oh, shares oh, yeah. times 50 cents. Here, I'm going to answer Suzanne's question while you're figuring that out on that calculator from 1982. <laughs> if TSN hit $62, will that consider a retest area and go short? Okay, let me answer Susanna's question here. How are you making out? You're going to be out of the trade before you figure 5, out how much you made of it. No, not 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to make me laugh all week. <laughs> 1,000 shares times 50 cents is oh, 500. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. We'll go over it then more. Here, but this this looks good. Now, Sue is asking a, a good, good question. Sue is saying if, if – oh, TSN. I'm sorry. I had the wrong chart up. She's talking about uh, – TSN, not Target. We're flipping back and forth here. If TSN goes back to 62, do you want to reshort it? Is that what you're saying? I would not. I would not personally. That's totally up to you. Does anyone want to guess why? 